Well, hello there, and welcome to this final section of the haul series. And this last section is all about how to make websites look amazing on mobile devices. Now, in case you haven't heard the news, more and more people are viewing the web on mobile devices, and laptops and desktops are pretty much on the way out. The last time that I ran a check on this was probably about six months ago, to be honest, and I headed into analytics with a client of mine, and we discovered that in his industry, 60% of traffic was coming in from mobile devices. Can you believe it? 60%. So, in my opinion, getting sites looking good on mobile devices is the single most important design issue of the lot in this day and age. Now, you may remember that a way back in video three or something, we uh, we set up jQuery Mobile. And since then, a few very intelligent people have left comments on YouTube and maybe one or two on the Insider Club and they've said, well, why even bother with jQuery Mobile? Does Bootstrap not do a really good job of making sites look good, uh, you know, from mobile devices? Well, for the most part, Bootstrap does do a good job. However, and there's going to be a few howevers here, right? First of all, we as professional developers cannot depend on Bootstrap always being there. There may be times when you have a client who comes up and says, can we use this design? And maybe they'll give you something that came in from designcrowd.com on 99designs, or maybe just from the guy in the IT department. So I think it's important for us to be able to uh, function without bootstrap for those types of situations. Now, the second, however, is that with bootstrap, it is so easy to build a site that looks really good on your laptop or whatever and say, yes, you know, it's Bootstrap. And look, you know, it, it even says on the Bootstrap website, mobile first, yay, you know. Um, and then months and months later, you look at it on a mobile device and it turns out that it looks rubbish. Yes, don't get me wrong, if used properly, Bootstrap is very good and all of that. It's just far too easy, though, to make mistakes. Um, and then, as a matter of fact, I'll show you an example of that in just a moment, okay? And finally, when you use something like Bootstrap, I think that you are effectively, um, it's kind of strange language, but it's as if you're saying to Bootstrap, hey, Bootstrap, could you go and figure out how this should look on a mobile device? And don't get me wrong, Bootstrap does an okay job, you know, eh, squashing and stretching, sometimes stacking divs and all of that kind of thing. It does an okay job, but actually, I believe that the best person to make decisions about how the site should look on a mobile device is you, you know? I don't think it's uh, really good enough to just kind of say, well, let Bootstrap figure it out, you know? There are times when Bootstrap cannot figure it out. And as a matter of fact, enough of my yakking, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about, okay? So check this out. So here we are looking at the online shop. And uh, did you know that if we go on to Google, <laughs> if we, I always have problems with the word Google, you know, Google. Anyway, if we go on to Google Chrome and right click and then choose inspect, okay, and then we click on this little mobile icon, check this out. Now we can simulate how this site is going to look on a mobile device. And as a matter of fact, we can even go to this drop down here and choose the mobile device that we would like to simulate. So for example, if you want to see how the site looks on an iPhone 6 Plus, I'm just gonna click here. Now don't take this too seriously. It's not 100% accurate, but it is a very good generalization. And straight away, we can see that it's not looking too good. I mean, look at this, you have no items in your basket, okay? Do you remember I was saying, it's really easy easy to make mistakes and you don't even realize 
until you view the thing on a mobile device. As we scroll down, look at this stuff here. That looks absolutely awful. Uh, let's have a look at the Jimi Hendrix Stratocaster. And if you look at that, it's just as bad as it gets. Remember all of the nice angular JS stuff? Well, look at it here. It's terrible. And in fact, if we go to a Galaxy S5, again, it's just an approximation. But if we do that and hit refresh, not much better. Uh, if we go home here and let's have a look at an iPhone 5. And um, again, that's just, that's just not acceptable. If you have a look at an iPad, you'll find that it's a bit better, but the menu's kind of rubbish. And um, I'm not sure if I'm into the blog here, the way this is displaying. Anyway, that's, that's the vibe. Now, I know that there are people screaming at the screen just now, and they're saying, well, man, you never did this right, and that's why there's a, a problem, you know? So... For example, if we go to uh, this Nexus thing and you look at this no items thing, maybe maybe this was me. I don't know. Um, you know, all of these little misalignments and whatnot. Who knows? Maybe it was me. Uh, maybe I'm the guy who has made the mistake here. Uh, look at this page, for example. Look where the view your basket is. Do you see what I'm saying here? This is a, a problem, okay? And I'll tell you one thing. Actually, as I look at this, I'm thinking, well, I probably did make a mistake to do with the height of the uh, header row or something like that. But let me tell you, folks, I would bet a thousand pounds that nobody watched that video, uh, you know, a few videos back. Nobody was watching that and saying, Oh man, you're doing the CSS wrong. This is going to look terrible on an iPhone 6. Nobody was saying that. You all just followed along and all of us, myself included, just thought, well, it'll probably look okay. We'll check it out, folks, if we scroll. Look at it. It's just... Sorry, that's my phone saying hello. I'm going to switch that off. But look at it. It's just not good enough. Okay, it's just not good enough. So here's our Fender guitar. Actually, that's not too bad. But hopefully, I've made the point here that it's very easy to make mistakes when it comes to bootstrap. Is that fair enough? Okay. Now, to go back to the other point that I was making, sometimes bootstrap is just not able to make the right decisions when it comes to how to make things look nice on mobile devices. Um, for example, this is a system of mine, or not mine, it's a client's, uh, but it's a system that I made for a car leasing company, okay? And the idea is that you can send quotations to customers, okay? Uh, this app, by the way, is the one I mentioned that has half a million lines of code. Believe it or not, this is the biggest web app that you've probably ever looked at. And that's a serious statement, you know. But in any event, when a customer gets sent a quotation, if they view the quotation on a desktop device, it looks something like this, okay? This is what a, a quotation looks like. As you can see, there's tons and tons of information there. It's been broken up into four different sections. Um, it's color coded. Now remember, I'm on a desktop device here, okay? So they can look at this. Everything's fantastic. They've even got a nice button here. They can click on this, look at the terms and conditions. Obviously, they are ridiculous terms and conditions, but they can do that. They can click accept and everything is just fantastic, okay? Would you agree that looks reasonably okay? Right, okay. The problem is, when we look at this on a mobile device, here we go again, right? And check it out. This is using Bootstrap, by the way. Uh, but straight away, you can see that it's all over the place. Uh, when we look at the table here, which looked so nice on a desktop. Now, Bootstrap 
doesn't know how to handle this. It's a big giant table. Now, if it was devs, Bootstrap would go into stacking mode, right? And by the way, I'm not even sure if that would be very good. But what Bootstrap's done here to try and deal with this big table is it's added in a horizontal scroll bar. Can you see that? So somebody viewing this quotation on a mobile device, they're going to have to zoom away along like this. And to be honest, this is just not good at all. It's just not good enough. Now, if we go back to this admin panel, you'll notice that I've got a button on the right hand side here for view quote mobile version, okay? View quote mobile version. If um, the customer views this quotation on a mobile device, then they don't get the nightmare that you've just been shown uh, there. What they will get is something like this. Okay, now that looks terrible on a desktop device, I agree. But look, stay cool, if we go to inspect here, and now we are uh, simulating a mobile device, right? And as you look, uh, by the way, all of these details are fake in case you're wondering, right? But as we look at this, look at how nice that looks. We have a little message, that's nice. And look at the options. Do you remember the big giant table? Well, look at this. If we want to see the factory options, we just click this and it jumps out like a, an accordion, a vertical accordion. We want to look at the finance terms. We click that and there it is. It's absolutely fantastic. Look at how nice that looks. Look at the notes, even the button that they can tick and then where they enter their name. It's absolutely fantastic, very neat, very tidy. And as a matter of fact, this uh, thing that I'm showing you here does not do this justice. When you view this on a real mobile device, everything is so smooth, everything is just so nice. And um, it really, really makes the difference, I think, when you take the time to do this, okay? Um, Having said this, the top section could do with a bit of work, so, and I just noticed that. Actually, let me do a quick interjection here, super quick edit. As I was going through the video and looking back, I checked this out, and actually the top section looks perfect on a mobile device. The name and everything, it's all aligned, it's all perfect. Remember, the Google Chrome thing is just a sort of rough estimation, trust me. On a real mobile device, this looks really, really good. Much better than what you can see here, okay? Let me just try a couple of other things here. Here's an iPad. Again, that's just fantastic. Is that not just so much nicer? Would you not rather be sent that? Do you see what I'm saying here? Um, so that's jQuery Mobile. That is the vibe. Now, let me just quickly stress a couple of points before I wrap this video up. Um, first of all, I am not a CSS guru. Of course, I've made a couple of mistakes with Bootstrap, with the quotation thing, for example. Uh, the fact that that was all over the place was probably 90% my fault. However, things like the table, scrolling, uh, 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 the scroll bar for the table and stuff like that, um, that was not my fault. That was just Bootstrap doing the best it could and, in my opinion, coming up with a result that was less than satisfactory. Now, yes, we could tweak and fiddle with Bootstrap for days and days and days and get it looking okay. I just happen to think that jQuery Mobile is much easier to work with and it produces much better results, okay? And finally, before we begin with the, the actual work, this is just an introduction, I have to say, sadly, jQuery Mobile has not been as popular as it should be, in my opinion. Now, I really like jQuery Mobile. I just like the way that it looks and the buttons and all of that. Uh, but there are other technologies available that do pretty much the same job. The important thing here is not to become attached to jQuery Mobile. In fact, we're just going to be skimming the surface. I'm not going to be getting involved with Ajax and all sorts of heavy stuff. We are only going to be touching the surface. And my advice is do not become 
emotionally attached to jQuery Mobile. Work on the assumption that in two months' time, you'll probably be using something else. Because like I say, very sadly, and for reasons that I don't understand, uh, jQuery Mobile is not that popular. It's kind of a shame. But in any event, introduction over. Uh, thank you very much. And in the next video, we'll make a start. Okay.